Hi everybody, this is Isha Snehal and today I'm going to talk about first aid. So first aid is the single most quoted book for step one. It is considered to be the Bible for step one and yet people find it hard to understand and read through this book. The reason is the format. The format of the book is in a notes form. So nobody can read through it and understand everything in the, in the first go. You always need to supplement it with something to understand it more comprehensively. However, there are some questions which I would like to tackle and those are, let's go one by one. So what is it? What is first aid? First aid is, uh, like I said, it's a notes format of a book which is has been contributed and authored by people who've already taken step one and they are in this field of education who actually know what kind of questions come in, uh, come in you know, USMLA every year and um, you know what probably is the way to ask questions and what is the way questions will be scored so uh, they are uh, they know what kind of things will help students so they've made these mnemonics and very useful ones they've made these tables uh, that in a short way explain everything and they make it easier for you to pick a disease if you get a clinical vignette a clinical vignette would be a clinical question based on a clinical scenario um, so let's go and then what else how long is first aid how it's about 80, 832 pages and that varies when it's edited every year you get a new edition it's always advisable to read the newest edition because they have things getting added to it every year and new things will be asked every year so um, it's always advisable to read the current edition whenever you're going to take the exam even if you've read something from before do get the new edition from somewhere and read through it and update your information then um, what else how what kind of supplementation you need for the first aid you can always have Kaplan videos like when you're reading something on in micro um, there will be some tables which are uh, given in first aid like you know gram positive bacteria differentiation but then it's very well explained in Kaplan um, in the videos as well as in the notes so you can read that and add whatever is missed out in the first aid so you have like everything right there in your hand and it's easier to review it later on then um, then for pharmacology you can uh, again listen to sketchy farm or you can um, use Kaplan I did both of them I did sketchy farm and Kaplan to supplement my understanding of whatever was given in uh, first aid and it helped me remember that because uh, if you just go and memorize and uh, try to mug up what's in there you're not gonna do well in your exam because uh, everything that's asked is integrated it does require an understanding of the concept behind the question and the drug so it's very useful to uh, like understand it comprehensively rather than mugging it up even the autonomic drugs or uh, even adverse effects for that matter okay what else um, how can you read first aid all the time and feel okay I think it's information intensive so uh, not only should you supplement it with Kaplan you should also keep doing questions and test your knowledge because how else will you know that you actually remember stuff from first aid so test your knowledge by you know blocking out some time for um, questions of you world and you know you can go stepwise you can uh, suppose if you've read micro or uh, you've read something related to infectious diseases so just mark that out and take 40 questions of that and then assess yourself how well you've done and uh, how uh, comprehensively you know your stuff um, when you're done with you know reading everything all the explanations just add the extra points in your first aid yeah. okay what else how many readings you should do for first aid I think that varies I had a friend who just read it once 
and she read it so comprehensively that you know she could answer every question on the test and she could do really well and she got a good score um but more important than that i think do what you're comfortable with i did five readings of it because i uh, i read the first two readings like i just read through it and i couldn't retain anything and then when i switched to a more comprehensive format where i would read and then test myself and then get back to it and you know try to remember what i uh, forgot then i actually ended up learning everything and uh, you know being more confident with first aid material okay what else so there's this section in first aid like the high yield general principle section that is very useful and so is the rapid review section which is at the end so those two sections should be done very thoroughly and uh, it's always always recommended people often end up forgetting high yield i will in a in a bit i will actually show you uh, which sections i'm talking about um so that's about it and um, now let's go to first aid so this is a pdf that i had and uh, i'm just going to go through it and give you an idea of what are the important things that you must read um it's a good idea to read through everything in first aid uh, at least like give it a single read uh, especially like the timeline for study and you know clinical when you have strategies or test taking strategies um then section 2 is important it's extremely important because every single question will have a little bit of this these describe the general principles of any subject biochemistry and microbiology are in their entirety in this section um immunology has a lot of diseases um mnemonics which you can pick up when you were going through a question and you'll be like wow i read something of this sort in you know in this general principles then public health sciences has a lot of formulae from here from um for you assembly and uh, the pharmacology has a lot of adverse effects and you know how to combat intoxications and um, a lot of important points in fact you should uh, even autonomic uh, you know the whole system of Uh, autonomic uh, receptors uh, so it's very well described but you can always supplement what you're reading with other resources like kaplan would be a good idea to supplement micro and farm uh, moving on to organ systems every system is different and uh, you need to choose what you want to supplement every system with uh, a good idea would be to supplement cardio with um, cardio physiology with uh, both and beyond um and psychiatry you can supplement with um behavioral sciences which is like a kaplan book and moreover it's enough what is given here like the drugs or the um the receptors that are involved the mechanisms that are given in here you need to understand it more than memorize it then you have this section which is often missed and ignored but it is one of the most useful sections of whole state because it's like a comprehensive overview of everything you've read before so when you're going into an nbme if you cannot do a reading of first aid which is more recommended then you go for reading through this section the comprehensive section where you have anatomy behavioral science everything else you have like a brief overview of everything you've read and read through the high yield general principles and you will be good to go in terms of remembering the facts uh, moreover the organ system section is of understanding and of concept building it takes a little bit of time so uh, like a day before nbm you just go through these two sections and you're good to go and that is if you cannot do a reading of first state if you like my video then leave a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would be back with the answers to your questions in my upcoming videos and will try to provide as much value as i can um otherwise you can just uh, hit me a message on instagram and i would be happy to help you out um with that thought oh yeah and my instagram id is isha.sneha And with that thought, bye.